Hi guys, welcome to day two of our Christmas makeup looks, our 12 days of Christmas makeup uh, challenge. And we are starting off with uh, moisturizing our face and we're using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Aqua Gel. And I'm just applying this all over my face, making sure that my skin has all the right ingredients first before we can apply makeup on. And then after that, I'm going to take a foundation. And this is not just an ordinary foundation that I'm going to take. I'm going to take a powder foundation. And that's the Maybelline Superstay Powder Foundation. That's the shade Coconut. And if you don't have a primer, you can do this step instead. So you take your powder foundation, apply it all over your face. And then after applying the powder foundation using a brush all over your face, you're going to take some setting spray. Okay? So I'm still applying the powder foundation, but you're going to take your setting spray. And in this case, I'm using the Rimmel setting. Now that's not the Rimmel, that is the Makeup Revolution setting spray. And then you are spray it on top and you have your primer, your makeup primer. And it's so gorgeous, that base. And make sure it's dry before you proceed with the next step, which I'm doing, which is color correcting. So I'm going to color correct uh, my skin and by the way guys I don't know if I've mentioned this but this is a Christmas elf makeup look but you've probably seen from the title of the video and the thumbnail too so I'm just going to apply uh, the color corrector using a beauty blender and make sure that it is evenly blended into my skin after color correcting we are going to apply our liquid foundation and in this case I'm mixing two foundations which is the first one being the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and that's the shade 9N and I'm going to mix it with the L'Oreal is it called um, their serum I've forgotten that it's their True Match Serum Hyaluronic Acid Serum and I've mixed it with the shade 8 7 to 8 so I've mixed the two and as you can see I've gotten a shade that is great for my skin tone and then I'm going to apply all that using a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender which you basically put water in the beauty blender then you squeeze it out. So I'm going to tap, tap, tap and make sure that it is evenly coated on my skin. What the beauty blender does is that it also absorbs the excess uh, foundation so that you don't have cakey, you know, foundation. This is a full coverage foundation, so you're not going to expect it to be, you know, your skin to peek through the L'Oreal True Match one, specifically the foundation itself. For concealer, I'm going to be using two concealers for brightening my under eyes and also for brightening around my mouth and for highlighting my nose bridge. And the first for uh, concealer that I'm using as the one that you're seeing me applying is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and that is the shade Cafe. Yes, I believe it's pronounced that way, Cafe. <laughs> Cafe. Sounds incomplete. Sounds like coffee. Anyway, Cafe. And then I'm going to be applying this contour shade on my nose bridge just to contour my nose. And then after that, I'm going to blend all that up using a flat brush first and then after using the flat brush I will use a beauty blender again. I hear the bells out, hear the bells from afar you are the brightest one amongst all the stars Thinking out loud, thinking over old friends I notice now it's been a while since they left, no problem The second concealer, because I want really bright under eyes, is the Rimmel kind and free concealer This is the shade Tan, which is a lighter shade than the previous concealer that I used As I said, I want bright under eyes and I've also uh, applied it on my nose bridge because I'm going to be you know applying some products right there in that area to create the elf makeup look so we are just going to dab that in using a damp beauty blender and then I'm going to now set all that concealer so all the areas I've applied concealer 
I'm going to apply a setting powder just to make sure that the concealer does not crease. Because sometimes concealer creases if you do not set it. It gathers in cracks and crevices of your skin. Therefore creating a very, very not beautiful look. So right now what you're seeing me doing is that I am just applying the shape. I can't see applying. <laughs> I'm drawing the shape of the eyebrows that I want to apply on my face. Now we are going to go for white eyebrows, you know, to create the illusion that you are living in the North Pole. In a very cold and snowy place and your eyebrows are full of frost. That is what I'm going for. So I'm just going to apply this white eyeliner on my eyebrows and I'm going to make sure that I apply, you know, basically that's it. Just the white eyebrows, create some white eyebrows to create the illusion of frost. For eyeshadow, I'm just going to go for neutral tones. So I'm just creating, no, not neutral. It's Christmas time. What am I even seeing? So for eyeshadow, I'm going to go for this dark green, just like the dress that I've worn. This dark green, uh, shiny, shimmery look. So I've just gone in with a dark green shade in the outer corner of my eyelids. And then in the inner corner, I'm only going to use two shades for this look for the base of the look so in the inner corner i'm applying a lighter shade of green and also in the center of the eyelid a very lighter shimmery shade of green i know it doesn't look very green but it's green i'm also going to go in with this green eyeliner on my waterline it's not a very dark green so it might not be that visible and then i'm also going to uh, well, apply the dark green below my eyelids on my lower lid that is and because it's Christmas time I'm just going to apply some glitter glue and then apply some chunky sequin green glitters on the center of my eyelid I know this look is going to be a bit too much for an elf but it is Christmas time after all uh, so the dark green glitters I'm gonna go there those are large sequin glitters and I know the look is not looking put together but it will be fine and then I'm going to apply some chameleon color changing eyeshadow in the inner area next to the glitters and then we'll tight line our waterline as usual and then apply some false lashes and by tight lining, I just mean like applying this eyeliner there on the waterline point, you know. And for my lower lashes, I'm going to be using this Tom Ford mascara. And I'm just going to apply it on my lower lash line.
we are now removing the excess setting powder that we used to set our concealer so i'm just removing it using a brush and then after that i'm going to do my lips before i do the rest of my face so i'm just taking a brown pencil lip liner and i'm going to line my lips all around and then because you can see the lipstick the the eyeshadow is very very bright i'll do a red lipstick but not a very strong red just like almost neutral you know it won't be so bright and that's what i'm doing with that tiny lipstick and then i'll go over it with this fenty lip gloss and i'll apply the lip gloss all over my lips as you can see it is red but it's not too much red if you know what i mean I'm now going to go in with my blush and I'm going to apply it in a W shape as you can see or even on top of my nose on my cheeks on my cheekbones to create the letter W to create the illusion of you know cold biting or pinching your cheeks because that's where elves live they live in the cold and then we are going to apply some highlighter on the nose and then we are going to put some white freckles just for aesthetic purposes and then after applying the white freckles we'll put on our elf ears and we are done with the elf makeup christmas makeup look Tell me what you think about this makeup look in the comment section if you can try it to go anywhere and I'll see you tomorrow on my third day of Christmas makeup looks.